Well, now to developing news in the case of a missing two-year-old later found dead. We're talking about little Noah Tomlin. Today, Hampton police upgraded the charges against his mother to murder. And this after authorities released the official autopsy report this morning. Senator News Science Asia Tolliver has been on top of this story since Noah first disappeared from his home back in June. And Asia, what's the latest? Well, the autopsy reports were released. The findings there were released today, like you mentioned, and they gave a lot of insight to officials on how exactly Noah Tomlin died. Now, the prosecutor in the case says that, you know, the discoveries were horrific and they were extreme and that they want to, Julia Tomlin to be held accountable for what she did to her son. There is no question in uh, my mind based on the evidence this child was tortured. This morning, Hampton Commonwealth's attorney Anton Bell led a press conference with shocking new details about the death of two-year-old Noah Tomlin. Noah was missing for more than a week before his body was discovered in a steam plant by police back in July. Months later, the autopsy report sheds light into what happened and uncovers a suspect, his mom, Julia Tomlin. She should never, ever get the opportunity to ever hold another baby or to ever be in a caretaker role with another child of any nature. Bell says Noah's left leg and liver were the only recognizable parts found at the steam plant. In fact, the body was so badly decomposed at that point, they also called in an anthropologist to assist with the autopsy. Bell says the autopsy revealed Noah died from blunt head trauma and battered child syndrome. He says the anthropologist was able to piece together the skull to find out he ultimately died from two fractures to the skull, but there were other injuries consistent with child abuse. The type of injury that this child suffered was the same as if a child that had fallen several stories from a building. So this injury was not only severe, but um, just horrific. And while Bell says justice is Julia Tomlin in prison, she may not have been the only person involved with Noah's death. We do know someone helped her dispose of the body. There's no question about that. The question is the intent uh, and, and whether the person had knowledge that there was a body in the bag. Bell says Julia Tomlin is also facing two other child abuse charges for her other two children. They're ages eight months old and three years old. Now, we did reach out to Julia in jail and asked her if she wanted to interview. She did decline our request, but coming up at six, I'm going to tell you what Bell had to say about a former conviction that she had for child felony child neglect, actually, just a couple of years ago. In Hampton, I'm Aisha Tolliver. It's on your side.